Hurricane Rafael made landfall in Cuba on Wednesday as a powerful Category 3 hurricane, shortly after powerful winds knocked out the country's power grid. Forecasters warned the could bring life-threatening storm surges, winds and flash floods to western swaths of the island. By mid-afternoon on Wednesday the Union Electrica announced the collapse of electricity in the whole country. The second total blackout in one month. School and public transportation have been suspended as civil defense issued an alert. In Havana's capital, the streets were deserted and being battered by strong wind and rain. It is another blow for Cuba, which is facing the aftermath of another hurricane that passed through two weeks ago and left at least eight dead in the eastern part of the island. Thousands of people were evacuated between Tuesday and Wednesday in western provinces for residing in low-lying or dangerous areas. Public transportation and classes and many work activities were suspended in the capital, Havana, and several provinces. Crews collected garbage and other obstructive materials from the Malacan and several low-lying areas, as floods were forecasted. At the same time, roofs, windows, boats, and any property that could be affected were secured. Throughout the day heavy downpours began to fall and the wind whipped trees. The authorities also cancelled flights in the main air terminals, such as Havana and Veradero. Hurricane Rafael arrived in Cuba under complex circumstances. It brought significant rainfall to the east last week, particularly in Guantanamo, where the previous cyclone, Oscar, made landfall on October 20. Oscar left eight people dead and affected more than 150,000 people, destroying roads, bridges, and houses. It also damaged coffee crops, which are among the most important in the region. Some Italians and tourists on the streets of Rome had mixed reactions to the victory of Donald Trump in the U.S. presidential election on Wednesday. Standing outside a newsstand in the Italian capital, 
Ricardo Savoya said he saw Trump's surprisingly decisive win as a victory for the common people. I think that Trump's victory could have positive effects on the whole world, for example on the conflict in Ukraine and the one in Israel, he told the Associated Press. In Rome, another man who gave his name only as Fernando, appeared deeply concerned with Trump's win. I'm disappointed, what else can I say? Really, it is crazy and dangerous. Italian Premier Giorgia Meloni congratulated Trump on the win. Italy and the United States are sister nations, linked by an unshakable alliance, common values and a historic friendship. It is a strategic bond, which I am sure we will now strengthen even more, Maloney said. Vince Donald Trump, è lui il 47 presidente degli Stati Uniti. Abbiamo fatto la storia. Chiuderemo i confini ai migranti irregolari, dice poi il bacio alla moglie. Perché questo è il vero significato della vittoria di Trump. Ha vinto la gente semplice, ha vinto il popolo, ha vinto la gente che ha guardato alle cose concrete. In Italia purtroppo noi vediamo che la situazione complessiva non è una bella situazione, il nostro governo sta cercando di porvi rimedio ma siamo ancora molto lontani e io credo che questa vittoria di Trump potrà avere dei riflessi positivi anche in tutto il mondo perché per esempio il conflitto in ehm, Ucraina e il conflitto anche in Israele probabilmente grazie a lui che ha una forza che altrimenti eh, Kamala Harris non avrebbe avuto ehm, potrebbero risolversi. dispiaciuto, nient'altro da dire, veramente, non... pazzesco, pericoloso. Io sono molto contenta perché ho amici, ho vissuto negli Stati Uniti e, e conosco quello che lui ha fatto e poi quello che ha fatto Biden purtroppo. Non è che io sia partidaria di un partito politico, niente, semplicemente abbiamo bisogno di persone che facciano bene le cose per il popolo. L'America ci ha affidato un mandato forte e... Mi dica in quale parte del mondo c'è la democrazia. Capisco che sono parole pesanti, però è sotto gli occhi di tutti. Dopo che la Fox lo ha praticamente dichiarato 47 presidente degli Stati Uniti. I think that um, Donald Trump is a lot stronger, a more aggressive president, which intimidates a lot of people. But at the same time I think it also helps with order around the world. People seem to fear him. It can be good and bad. Um, but on the US, this is our second time with him, so we know what we're getting. And I don't see the fears that most people say about him. E quando ancora non è terminato lo spoglio, non ci sono risultati ufficiali. La Ghittoni che poi insomma ci ha fornito i numeri continua a farlo sicuramente nel corso di questa. E, e quindi tutto sommato i sondaggi avevano dato una forchetta abbastanza precisa, tanto più con un vantaggio dell'8%. In Florida il distacco è di 13 punti percentuali.